Howdy, howdy. My name is Trisha Lee. I'm here in the barn in Alberta, Canada. And I just wanted to make this video to share with you some of the frustration I'm feeling. And it's natural <laughs> whenever um, you set out to achieve something, uh, something new, something different, something that people aren't used to. Um, there's a lot of resistance. People are resistant to change. It's human nature. And it can be really frustrating. <laughs> so I'm like in this situation and feeling like it's two steps forward, one step back. So um, in our local community, our uh, city in their infinite wisdom has uh, gone out and replaced our one garbage collection truck with two trucks. So now we have one truck for garbage and one truck for um, compost. <laughs> and we're not really reducing greenhouse gases in any way, shape, or form. We're actually adding greenhouse gases to more to our community. Uh, in addition to that, we're costing the taxpayers more money. And I think that that is a big, big part of the reason why uh, our city council has decided to switch from one garbage truck to two is so, so that so that they can justify charging the taxpayers more money. And they don't really take into consideration um, our children's health and welfare. Um, with an extra truck, we've done the research and discovered that um, that extra truck that they've put out on the road is um, actually contributing an extra 14 tons of greenhouse gases onto um, streets and alleys where our children are playing. And it just breaks my heart because if you look at a place like France, France has 70 communities that are now picking up their garbage and recycling with horses. And not only is it like a novelty that the community loves, they're saving, not only are they saving greenhouse gases and making sure that they're not polluting the, seats and, uh, the streets and cities as they collect their refuse, but they're also saving money. Um, these new trucks that our city are, have bought are going to cost the taxpayers a lot more money when um, as they get older, the maintenance on them, they have robotics and uh, hydraulics included, which are very expensive parts to uh, replace. And um, definitely, uh, you can expect your taxes in our community to go up because the city has decided to um, go high tech and um, low touch and to make sure that um, they, they spend as much of your money as they possibly can when there's actually um, simple solutions that could not only save money but to help um, clean up the air. So it's, I'm just moving forward with persistence and consistency for my vision, which is to have the, um, to just get rid of pollution, <laughs> to focus on the problem, which is pollution, not greenhouse gases, not climate change, but pollution, and to do something about it. And so uh, as I struggle to uh, move forward with my vision, um, I just am looking for people out there who support us, who support the idea, who, who think it's stupid to put more trucks on the road and think that it only makes sense for um, vehicles that don't require speed um, to be replaced with um, even electric vehicles or with the, our idea of um, using horsepower. And so anyway, I'll leave it at that before <laughs> I start crying. <laughs> I'm a little emotional, a um, little stressed out by um, the lack of support from our community. And just, I, I, maybe I just need to move to France. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I do believe that absolutely anybody out there can be, do, and have anything they want. Or we can have everything we want. And uh, I can have my vision. Maybe this isn't the right place or the right time for it, but I'll find it and I'll create it. And uh, I want everybody to have an amazing day. And if I don't see in the future, I'll see you out in the pasture or here in the barn with one of our cute new little horses. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.